Hey everyone, so I just got done work. I stopped by two of the Dollar Generals for the clearance event today. The first Dollar General I stopped by, um, it's a really like a new store, so literally had nothing on clearance. So I said, do you even have a clearance section? She's like, no, not yet, we're too new. So I had to wait till I was completely done work to go to the next one, because it was uh, about half an hour away. And I was like, great, it's like four something, there's gonna be nothing left. This store had quite a bit of stuff left. The thing was, when you walked in, they had it all, a lot of stuff on a table. And I was like, oh, that's all they have left. And But when I started walking down the aisles, they had the little 10% tags. You wanna look for the products with the 10% tags under them because it's another 50% off that. So I started walking and the more time I spent in the store, I found more and more stuff. I got the stuff that I would use necessarily. I didn't get, there were razors I didn't get. There was quite a few things that I didn't get. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I got. This sale goes on today, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now we have five off of 25 for today, Friday, in the sales flyer, a paper one. Tomorrow we have a digital one on our app, and Sunday we don't have one. But I didn't even use my digital, and I ended up paying $2.56 before tax. And I don't really know how that happened because it should have been like $4.99 when I figured it all out, but I'm not gonna complain. I will take it. I had a total savings of $30.63. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I found the Viva pop-ups. They're like paper towels um, in a box. If you want to see the barcode, I think there's only one set of the Viva pop-ups, but I don't know how well it's going to show the barcode. There are lists all over Instagram and YouTube of all the stuff that is supposed to be on clearance. Now, when they rang it up, a lot of the stuff, unless they had the orange sticker, did not come up 50% off, but you just tell them you got it in clearance and they'll hit, they have a 50% button, she said, on the register, and they'll just hit that and I'll take care of it. So these were $2.70 a piece, and then they were half off of that. See, it's half off of the clearance sticker. It's not, the two seventy dollars is not the full price. So the half off of that would be $1.30. I had a paper coupon. I wanna say from the one six inserts, but I'm not sure. It was a coupon for 50 cents off, making it 85 cents. Now if you check, um, check out 51, you can get a 50 cent rebate on one of these. If you buy six, you can't get six cents, uh, 50 cents on six of them, only on one. So 85 cents a piece is not bad at all. Um, if you're looking for a certain coupon and an insert and you don't know where it is, go to coupon tom, one word, C-O-U-P-O-N-T-O-M dot com. You can put in what product you are looking for and it will tell you if there's any coupons for it and where to find it. It also includes a lot of the rebate apps like I bought a Checkout 51 Saving Star, I think, too. So I got two of them at 85 cents a piece. I also got the Colgate Sensitive. And this one is how many L? Okay, 6.0 ounces. And the sensitive was um, in just the aisle with a 10% off sticker. So I got the Colgate sensitive. And then I got the Colgate Total Advanced Health. And it's the one that's like part green, part blue. The cashier was like, is it supposed to be like this? I'm like, yeah. She's like, are you sure? She thought it had like separated. These are the 13.5 ounce, and I got two of them because we have a digital coupon in our Dollar General app. If you buy three Colgate products, and it's certain ones, and these are included, you can get $5 off. And let's see what they cost a piece. The mouthwash was $4.50, marked down to $2.25 a piece. And the toothpaste was 360, so that made it 180. 
which is a total of $6.30 for all of them, minus that $5 digital coupon means it is $1.30 for all three, which is a great deal, especially for mouthwash. Like the stuff I got was so random. I got the CoverGirl True Blend foundation. I don't know if you can even see the barcode. They should be marked. Not all stores mark stuff though. I totally understand that. Now, let's see. The foundation was marked down to $3.17 and I had a $2 digital coupon. There are paper coupons too for CoverGirl face products. So it was $1.17 after the coupon. Not bad considering the clearance price was $6.35. They have tons of Wet n Wild and LA Colors and Maybelline all on clearance. <clears throat> I got the Pantene Foam Conditioner and it says $6 so that brought it down to $3 half price. See she messed up somewhere on my receipt and I'm trying to figure out where it was. <coughs> Oh, okay. I marked down to $2.70. Not sure why, because it was $6. What did she do? Hold on, guys. This has been driving me crazy. Nope, I take it back. It rang up, for some reason, at $1.35, which doesn't make sense. She just kept hitting that 50% off button like she was happy. Crazy. So I think she might have hit it a couple times. Um, and I had a coupon for $1.50. So that makes this a 15 cent money maker. So I had overage, which applied to my total. Then I got the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers. It's just eyeshadow. I only found one of these and it was sitting in a clearance section. I'm trying to give you barcodes. I'm just go get the list you guys. You just punch it in and Google like Dollar General Clearance Event 2019 list and it will pop right up. I am glad they had it marked because I do not have time to be looking at SKU numbers and stuff, especially at the end of the day when I'm tired. This, I'm trying to figure out bear with me for a moment. Okay, that was that. Eyeshadow. It rang up at $1.67, and I had a $2 CoverGirl Eye um, coupon on my app, so that makes it a moneymaker of $0.33. Cents. So that came off my total. Now, the Suave Professional Men Styling Gel that looks like this. It is the... 7.0, 7, no, 7 ounce, and I got two of them somewhere. Here we go. Got two, and those, I want to say these were $4, but I think she went crazy again with the uh, button. Well, it came up to two seventy dollars a piece. No, it rang up at 270. Then she hit 50% off again. See, something happened. I don't know what the hell happened. Either way, I had a $2 off coupon for two of them. Yeah, it's coming up at 270. And then she hit it and it brought it down to 135. So for a total of 270 for both, I had a $2 off coupon. It was a paper coupon. Not sure what insert, so you're going to have to look it up. Look it up on Coupon Tom. And that makes 70 cents for both of these, right? 270 plus two. No. Yeah, because they came down to 135. So that's 270 for both. $2 off, 70 cents or something. You guys, I'm so tired. It's ridiculous. All right. Next. The L'Oreal Elviv Volume filler thickening shampoo it's the purple one and then the volume filler thickening conditioner 
These I found in the aisle, not in the clearance section. Be careful. I was looking for orange tags and for the 10%, like the big orange, sorry, my motion light keeps going off. Um, but they're white. I almost missed them completely. Now, these cost $3. They were marked down to $1.80. And I had a coupon. This thing is so crazy. Marked down to $1.80. I know I had the digital coupon. Was it $4, $4 off or was it $2? Three dollars. It was three dollars off. So I paid six. If it was one eighty and one eighty, that's three sixty for both minus the three dollar coupon. So it was sixty cents for both. I added it up earlier, and it should have my total. And then so my total was only like twenty dollars and fifteen cents. I thought it was higher, and I added it all up, and it should have come to four ninety nine before tax and for some reason it came to 256 I don't think you can't even see that it's not even worth trying to show you 256 a total savings of 3063 I got a five off 25 on here for tomorrow I probably shouldn't go back but I might but for two dollars and some change that's really an awesome deal it's stuff I'll use, and the store still had quite a bit of stuff in it. I might go back. I might not. I don't know. I have some 5 off of 25 deals I want to do. If you haven't seen the 5 off of 25 deals I posted, there is a video I did earlier this week on that. I will tell you, I had someone tell me that the 3 off of 15 for Snuggle did not work in their store, and she was like, just so you know, beware, it doesn't work. I called corporate and they're like it does work it depends on your region so if you're doing the snuggle deal with three off of 15 just go ask the cashier first if that pertains to your store I mean this lady was all mad about it I can't control where they have their sales that's why I post the pictures and it says three off of 15 she was like it's only online and they're like no it's not only online it depends on where you live so anyway if you go to your store, which was the case for a lot of people, and they don't have any of this stuff, there are great 5 off of 25 breakdowns this week. We have some really good coupons, so don't feel discouraged. It happens. My first store, I was just like, ugh. The second store, I got all this stuff, but they didn't have any of the um, paper towels or toilet paper, which I was hoping to get. But honestly, I didn't think I would get in there so late anyway. So I hope everyone has a great weekend, have a great time shopping if you're going shopping. And guys, I really apologize for the bad lighting. I just wanted to get this out there in case you guys wanted to do some of these deals. So I will talk to you all later and have a great weekend. If you like couponing videos, give it a thumbs up so then I'll know to keep doing them. And if you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe. Talk to you guys later.